People are gonna really hate this video. <laughs> hey guys, it's Darcy, and this is gonna be one of those videos, so get ready. So this video is going to be about a company called Zoffel. You can find them at zoffel.com. They sell clothes and accessories and things like that. They're a Chinese retailer, but they sell to a Western market, you could say. So you've probably heard of this company if you go on YouTube all the time and you like to watch beauty tutorials. I have done two videos for Zoffel.com. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of videos from other YouTubers talking about Zoffel.com, calling it a scam, and talking about their negative experiences. And I will read the comments, and some of the comments will say, Oh, I'm so glad that you were honest about this company. And other YouTubers are always lying about doing reviews and sponsor reviews. And blah, and blah, and blah, and blah, and blah. I want to make something very, very clear, okay? Just because one person has a bad experience with a company does not mean that everybody has. But I do see this tendency that when somebody makes a bad review on a company and um, all these other YouTubers have made good reviews on the company that people in the comments like to say that the people who had the good experience are lying. And that makes no sense because everybody has different experiences. That's how the world works. That's how, that's how this works, guys. That's how this works. And this is not just an experience that I've seen with Zoffel. There are lots of other companies that some people hate and some people like and will do a review on. And then automatically the person who likes the company is a liar. They're a sellout. They're being paid to say these wonderful things. And that's not necessarily true. While I'm sure there are many cheaters and scammers and liars and people who are getting paid to say nice things about terrible companies or terrible people, um, I'm sure that exists, but that doesn't mean that everyone is doing that. In situations, it's not always that this person is lying and this person is telling the truth. Sometimes it's honestly people have had my dog just literally hurt himself. Did you did you hear that? He hurt himself scratching his ear. He sc he scratched too hard, I guess. I don't know. You okay, man? Are you, are you okay? He's okay. Anyway, what was I talking about? It's not always that somebody is lying and somebody is telling the truth. Sometimes it's just that two people had two different experiences and that is all it is. This that I'm wearing right now is from Zoffel.com. It is one of their sweater dresses that I absolutely love. It is so cute. If you guys want to see my latest Zoffel haul, it'll be in the description below. And I'm also going to put a card up right now so you guys can watch it and you can see all the cute clothes that I got from there that are that still last me that I wear all the time. Literally, I got my entire fall wardrobe from Zoffel. And let me do say that um, if I were to move to Asia right now, um, I would fit in all of their clothes because I am a tiny, tiny human being. I got some big titties but I am tiny everywhere else. I'm really, really short. I'm only about four foot 11, five feet on a good day. Um, so I really fit into this like Asian body type, body standard uh, basically is what I'm trying to say. And I feel like even though they do cater to a Western market, the sizes might still be a little bit off, which is one of the criticisms that I do have for Zoffel.com, even though this hasn't affected me personally, from the reviews that I've seen, it seems that way. I don't have that first-hand account because I fit in everything. I'm an extra small on the website. I fit in everything that they have sent me. Everything usually fits. Sometimes things are a little too big because I'm a tiny human. I'm tiny. But I have the same complaint at retailers when I go to the mall that things are too big. I would say that my only complaint about Zoffel is the fact that um, when you're on the website, uh, when, when things are not in stock, 
it doesn't really say so or it doesn't update quickly enough. Huh, funny thing is, people have the same complaint about Sephora, which is a giant retailer. In fact, people have the same complaints about a lot of retailers. So, I mean, is this really unusual? Is this really out of the ordinary? Um, I don't think so. Here's the thing, guys. If you're going to shop from an online retailer, you really have to do your homework and you really have to know your stuff. I actually hate online shopping anywhere. Anywhere, I don't like shop online shopping from Forever 21 or any big retailer. I don't care if you're big or small. I don't like online shopping. I like being able to see the thing in front of me, see the material, see the sizing, try it on. I like to be able to do all of those things and online shopping takes that away from you. So therefore, there's going to be a bit of a risk when you are doing online shopping. So what I'm really trying to say here, guys, is that I don't think that Zoffel is any better or worse than any other um, low-end retailer. And that is just my opinion because that is the kind of experience that I have had with the company. Other YouTubers are going to completely disagree with me and, and they're really upset with their orders and um, they're really disappointed in the quality and the company itself. But I personally have not had that kind of experience and I don't want people thinking that um, I was just paid to say nice things about the company and do a nice review because that's not true. And if you guys have seen some of my other story times, you would know that I have no problem dragging a bitch. I am the kind of person that would not make a video on a shitty company, on a shitty product. Never. I would never do that. So if you guys want to shop from Zoffel.com, go ahead, go ahead. I give you my blessing, child. Please just go ahead and do so. Um, and you know, use my link, okay? I'm just gonna put it down there. <laughs> if you want to play it safe while doing online shopping at these Chinese retailers, then I would say Go for the accessories, buy some necklaces, buy some rings, buy some sunglasses. I have so many sunglasses from Zoffel.com and I love them all. They're, I just, they're amazing. And buy their sweaters. Their sweaters are a little bit more expensive, but they are better quality. I have found that, you know, like a flimsy shirt. Shirts are, nah, nah, nah. but the sweaters though. Get some sweaters from Zoffel. Another tip I have from when you're buying from these websites is Zoffel.com in particular. Um, when you click on the actual item of clothing, it has a list of specs, if you will, of the clothing. It tells you what it's made out of. Um, usually it's polyester, cotton blend, or cotton. And if you don't want something that sounds like a raincoat, then you can go get some cotton. Buy everything that says cotton. Because polyester could be anything. Basically, if you know how to wear clothes, if you know how to style, if you know what looks good on your body, then online shopping is probably going to be a good experience for you from any retailer. But if you don't, then it's probably not going to be too great. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate on this video, but that's okay. Because this is my honest review. That's my two cents about this whole thing with um, sponsored videos and shady YouTubers and people lying about products and Zoffel.com in particular. So if you guys have any thoughts about this, definitely leave them in the comments below. I know you guys are going to go crazy in the comments. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it. But if you did actually like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I make two videos a week and you don't want to miss that. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully, if you haven't unsubscribed by now. Bye. <laughs>